Hello techies! Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. Okay. This is by default by SAP. And this, we are not creating anything new. Template already. The templates will be created, okay. And these templates has been created by SAP. An email notification template. It is a standard template. For all modules. So whenever we come into email notification template, this is something which is specific to the success factor, not to the, not to the employee center. So it can be a notification to the calibration. Performance goal, employee central compensation, any module. It can be, so it is a standardized. Notification template from success factor. Well, you can see. All the templates will be there. Okay. So when you go here. In the left side you can find all the template list. Right side, where you can see now it is showing display user. So one more thing. Each template you can see the check boxes are there. These check boxes indicate that these templates are already enabled. Okay. These templates are already enabled. Enabled means the notification will trigger accordingly automatically. Okay. Now how these templates are being defined and configured. So when you select a template here, you can see Disable user notification And in the user notification, disable user notification When you scroll down towards right You can see email subject is there And you can see email body is there Okay. There is an email subject and there is an email body. Okay. So in the email subject, it is specified what is the subject line. Email body. Okay. And email body. You can see, this is a paragraph. This is the content which is showing. Okay. And in the content you can see. You have various inverted bracket doc. This is the inverted bracket. What you call. Text is there which is mentioned here. So this inverted bracket text, how it is coming. This is the standard one, which is called as a tokens. Okay. Which is called as a token. These are the standard tokens. Okay. So these tokens are also being defined by the SAP. Okay. There is a standard list of the tokens. So what is the behavior of this token? In the content. Now you can see employee underscore name. Employee underscore name, doc. Underscore list. Feedback. Underscore response. Underscore link. These are some text under which is mentioned under the. Inverted brackets, which is shown as a 
Token. Okay. So what is the behavior of this token? So when you are drafting a template. When a template is being drafted here. So there are certain tokens are also there. So when this template is being, notification is triggered. This template will be sent to the sent to the user, either to a manager, to HR. When it reaches to the manager, to the HR or to the user. These tokens, which is there. This token will try to fetch the value from the system. Now it is showing as an employee underscore name. So this token will try to fetch the value, that is, the name, from the system. And when it is being sent to the manager or the HR, this token will be replaced with the value. Suppose if the value is Alex, it will be replaced with, please be advised that the user account of Alex has been deactivated. The following document are currently in. Alex inbox folder and waiting for. So how the Alex is coming, because that is being fetched from the. From the in from the system. Okay, so that is the behavior of this token. So if you are generally writing the user account of Alex. So when, when it will go to the, it will not trigger, it will show, it will give error. Okay, so that is the reason on a generic way. We should not write a simple text. But what is the purpose which we are writing a text or doing some modification in the content? It should always include the tokens. Because, with the help of the token, that value will try to fetch from the system. So if you are mentioning something as a date of joining or date of hire, Okay, system will not try to. System is unable to try to take the date of hire. It will only go as a notification as date of hire. But when you are mentioning the token as a date of hire, that will be replaced with the date automatically. Values of the tokens are defined when you are creating a profile. We have not started with employee center right. So when we start with Employee Central, how you are hiring a person. So your date of hire, employee ID, user ID, location department, everything will be connected with an employee profile right. That will be stored in the employee profile. So now, when a notification is sent by default to all employees, so this token will try to fetch the value from the employee directory. For the employee name, for the date of birth, for the date of what you call hire. Whatever the tokens are there. In that way, only the token is being defined by the SAP. We have not defined anything. It is a standard one. So now you are seeing a content here. You can use this content because this is by default already created by SAP. But if you want to add some information in the content, how you will add the information? You have to suppose you want to add some content, you want to add some paragraph. So with the paragraph you also need to add the tokens. Necessary tokens. You should not write in a generic language. But whatever the value you want to fetch from the directory, for that value you have to add the relevant tokens in the paragraph. That will help us to fetch the value when it will be triggered. This was one example. When I'm just scrolling down, 
you can see a lot of examples are there. But if I'm taking something, welcome message notification with reset password. When you go into the reset password, So you can see here where this is welcome to success factor and notification will be sent to all employees. Your login information and the credential it will be showing. So username in the notification it is employee. Underscore username with inverted brackets. But when the system will but this token will pick the value from the directory and when notification is sent, it will send the actual username. The token will be replaced with the username. Set the password URL. So, whatever is the password, URL is there. That will also be replaced with. The URL will be replaced with this, tokens. When it will be sent to the user. So from a notification point of view, if suppose, if you are coming up with some issues, or when any ticket. You have to go to the email notification template. This one email notification template. And from here you have to find what is the issue, what is the notification issue which we are the customer is facing. Go and search for that notification and then you need to check the tokens. Is it an existing one or is there any change in the token or not? Okay. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rate